Always investigating, a statewide animal abuser registry could be in our future. An Illinois state senator tells CBS 2's Tara Molina he has plans to reintroduce a bill that would make it happen. She is live in the newsroom with more. And Tara, this comes after we found the three-year-old Cook County registry had never been used. Exactly, Erica. A statewide registry would not only shrink the margin for error we've reported, but we found it would shrink the current loopholes in the Cook County ordinance, too. Created and approved to make sure convicted animal abusers wouldn't get their hands on more victims. The animal abuser registry meant to do good in Cook County. But as CBS2 first exposed, communication issues within county offices kept it from doing that. Not one convicted offender entered into the system for years. Since our reports last week, the Cook County Sheriff's Office confirms they found more than 50 convicted offenders who need to register, worked 20 cases over the weekend, and formally served three with notices to register here. It seems like it's going through multiple agencies from what your story showed. Uh, and, and while I don't think anybody has the intent of not doing it, they just don't know whose jurisdiction it falls under. So hopefully through our state registry, it'll make it very clear. State Senator Tom Cullerton is talking about the bill he sponsored once and plans to introduce again. It would create a statewide registry and make protections offered similar to those by the Cook County Ordinance, a state law. I just don't want these animals to get in the wrong people's hands. And if you have a history of violence towards animals, you shouldn't be allowed to just walk into a pet store and just pick out another animal that you're just going to abuse. The bill would prevent a convicted animal abuser from owning or adopting a pet for seven to ten years, while establishing a database through state police that rescue groups, pet stores, and shelters can use to make sure that doesn't happen in Cook County or any other county in the state. Once you're convicted, that information will go to the state police and they'll put it right up on their registry. The next regular legislative session starts up in January. That's when he says he'll reintroduce this bill. You can find all of our coverage of this issue and read the last version of the bill yourself when you head to our website. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. All right, thank you, Tara.